Now, since I have so many opinions on this subject, you might be asking me, well, what exactly does Lava want from a Bionicle reboot? And if so, I'm glad you asked, because I have a few ideas. Hypothetically, if the Bionicle franchise was rebooted once more, my ideal stage for that would be the Lego Bionicle movie, which I imagine would use the same animation style that Studio Animal Logic made for the Lego movie and be directed by Taika Waititi. I want to see this in the style of this, this, and this. A Bionicle movie that focuses on the original Toa characters as the main protagonists, where the humor is tongue-in-cheek, and most importantly, where the people working on it are actually from cultures that have lived on Pacific Islands. Ever since the controversy with the Maori people in 2002, where after they realized that a European toy company was basically stealing Maori words for their profitable action figure series, a settlement was made where some Polynesian titles were kept, but several of them were changed to entirely different words. And while I'm glad that the Maori people stood up for themselves, because they had every right to be angry, I also feel like LEGO backpedaled too far by not focusing on the island environments as much, when instead they could have just hired Polynesian consultants to help them make more informed decisions. Metru Nui could have also been an island too. Much like how the 2016 Disney film Moana involved the creative input of Hawaiian and Polynesian individuals, I think that LEGO should hire Maori and Polynesian artists to create a future Bionicle story. I want the franchise to keep going back to its island roots, but I don't want any cultures to be disrespected. Rather, I want artists who are from those backgrounds to have their voices included in the work, and be properly compensated for their efforts. I mean, if you're trying to make a fictional island environment feel organic, wouldn't the most qualified experts for that job be people from cultures that have actually lived on islands? And of course, white artists would still be allowed in the writer's room. It's not like any one race would have a monopoly over the story, I'm just saying that Greg Farshti, Christian Faber, or the original team don't need to be the sole authors of Bionicle anymore, that we should welcome different creators onto that team, and entrust the future to a new generation. Even if my ideal vision will never become real, even if 2016 truly was the final year of the franchise, its narrative will still continue to live on in our memories. As long as we have the imagination, Bionicle can be anything we want it to be. It can be our own fan-created stories. It can be a celebration of Polynesian culture, helmed by Maori creators. Or it can be a combination of both possibilities at once. Just as long as there's aesthetic beauty, character writing, and narrative ambition. A story about robots living in organic environments that espouses the virtues of working together, taking responsibility, and finding your purpose. Unity, duty, destiny. No matter what happens, Bionicle will always be a work of art.